Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of shopping cart project. In this project, first of all, add a new class library project in the solution. So just click, right click on the solution name and uh, just add a new class library project. Uh, that language is C sharp similarly. And uh, the project name is shopping cart dot service because uh, in solution, in this project, uh, I will create some uh, service uh, layer uh called uh, like uh, repositories and uh, infrastructures so uh, always a class 1.cs file is created so just remove it and uh, create new two directories in the project that is the infrastructure and the second one is repository also you can add a new uh, folder uh, new directory that is the name data for the data context so first thing is the infrastructure you have to add in the project and the second uh, thing is add the repositories okay now add in the infrastructure uh, that is an in first interface that is i category and in which the i category uh, just make a public interface and in which you can add some category informations uh, like five method to must to add in the category because in a database administrator uh, have all the uh, uh, functions have access okay so a list of category and you know that category uh, model actually exists in the uh, data access layer so just add a new project uh, in the solution so add a reference of the projects so there is no framework and no extensions no comp types so just add a project that is available so just right clicking on the shopping cart service project and add a references and uh, now just right uh, just use control dot to resolve this type of error use control key and the period key from your t uh, from your keyboard okay so the first method in the interface that is get all categories where list of categories returned and the second one is the single category you uh, you can uh, you can get uh, from the i category so, so category uh, get category by id you can say there is the second method name uh, in the i category interface and retrieve the category by their uh, id property now the third uh, method is what uh, that is the insert category and the fourth is update category and the fifth is delete category and the last one you can say uh, that is the save for the context save changes method so category cat category and uh, voice update category there is the uh, default method must to add for the card operations uh, with the category class so delete category and the last one is save so okay that is fine now also add i product interface in your project and the same method uh, actually apply for the product for the initial purpose so get all uh, product uh, get product by id and insert product oops uh, the rename feature is not available in the preview section of uh, visual studio 2019 
just you have to remove uh, rename all the things uh, all the categories with the product uh, that you uh, that must to use control double r keys for the shortcuts so use uh, list product product get a uh, product by id and insert product update product and delete product and also uh, change the parameters name in the method okay that's fine so the insert product update category delete category is also there and change you know the name of the category replace with the product okay that thing is prepared i think category replace with the product okay uh, i think it is fine now just after that you have uh, must have to implement that interface in the repository class so in the repositories folder add a new class uh, that is the category repository you have to say uh, so just the name of the class is category repo and that category repo is must to add public and uh, implement with the i category interface so just use i category and Im implement all these methods in the i uh, category repo repository class and also add a new thing that is a new folder that is the data folder in the data folder you have to add a new class that is the db context class okay application db context okay now and that class must to inherit with the db context class you know the db context class actually exist in microsoft dot entity framework core namespace uh, okay so must to add a package new get package and if you want to add a new 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 get package and then must to uh, uh, run internet on in into your system so first of all design the application db context class so just use ctor keyword or you can say snippet and just use double tab key for making the syntax of your constructor so add db context option in the application db class and then use with the class name that is application db context and the parameter name is options and that option passed to the base class that is options also add and in that db context class add two uh, entities that is category and the second one is the product so add a entity framework core package microsoft dot entity framework core that is the uh, nuget package name and install it and that db context class okay and uh, the new thing is there just add a class name for the table for the database table that public property uh, is used to uh, communicate with the database table and that uh, db context class is used to communication with the uh, database table so the name of the table is categories by default so just resolve that issue so just use control and dot keys just use control dot or you can say control dot uh, control periods key and resolve the usings similarly for the products so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching the next video tutorial and uh, wait for some 
uh, hours or upload a new video for shopping cart projects thank you very much for watching